Nurse's Light Burn is gone. Boon's Circle of Healing is much weaker. General healing takes longer. Medkits only offer a maximum of one heal. Medkit add-ons are worse. And Deadheart only activates after you safely unhook a survivor. It's 2023 and Behavior are out here buffing Nurse and nerfing Hillbilly. This is absolutely insane and I think we should just hop straight into games to see how ridiculous this is. Okay, we're on Blood Lodge, which is actually tiny now. Like the distance between Shack and the main building is about 20 meters, which is a bit crazy. Someone right here. Okay, good first blink. Basically, I've got four people in custom game right now because I don't really want to subject random people on PTB to slugging nurse. And they're gonna try their best to try and stop it. They have med kits, they know what I'm gonna do. Good luck, I, I don't know how well it's gonna go, but we'll see, right? I've got a reasonably good build. They're still putting out boons, which is interesting, because obviously you cannot heal yourself through the boons anymore. But they do have med kits, which is reasonable. I'm surprised that didn't hit, actually. Nice, okay. Well, they're here, okay. This is great. If we can keep them in one area, that's like exactly what we want. We also know that someone's on the- I just had to blink that. I couldn't see anything. Someone's on the other side of the map because the slug just got picked up, which is really useful information. I'm just waiting for my blink. I'm surprised that they didn't- What? Oh, I was so convinced that would hit. Nice movement. What? I hit a stair. Where are we going, little Kate? Oh my god, so many of my swings have like just barely missed. That's a one blink. They must have pre-left, right? Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. And they're taking distance, which is smart. Shouldn't die near each other. And this person does like to double back, which is good to know. And they've ran into another injured person. I wonder if they shouldn't have life, right? No, I think they are a sprint burst enjoyer. I'm surprised they got the pallets done off, honestly. We had a gen pop and we had an injured Claudette over here. Injured Claudette's all the way over there. Other healthy survivors over here. I'm surprised they didn't get off that sooner. I might have been able to blink that. Okay. We see the other injured survivor over here, so I'm going to try and one blink them. Beautiful. Nice, no dead hard, so we don't even need to worry. We could just swing. Which is insane. They did a gen. Okay, well, if one of these people doesn't have Unbreakable, that was the most questionable decision I've ever seen in my life. So I, I would hope, for the Kate's sake, that one of them has Unbreakable. Yep, they do, okay. No surprises there. I could stomp this boon whilst I'm at it as well, which could kill their healing efficiency even more. And they were all the way over here. So if they're smart, they've left each other. No, they reset. Okay, that's brilliant for me. I could just kind of push them into this corner. Because now I, they just have to give me something for free if they want to get out. A little bit scuff pathing. And I don't think... Yeah, Beth doesn't make it for the pickup. Nice. And yeah, I have a feeling this is might be how a lot of nurse games go because this completely denies them any chance of using that hard. It just takes you so long to heal. It takes you even longer to recover when you're on the floor as well. We're in on the other changed map for this PTB, which is Gas Haven. And I've switched up the build a bit just because I think the best idea for the survivors is just to stay injured and try and not even fight it. So I want to punish them for doing that by putting on Fearmonger, which means they're not going to be able to get off their gens in time. And also, they're not going to be using that hard. So most likely they'll be using Sprint Burst. And if they can't Sprint Burst off a gen, that is brilliant. Someone going for save. I saw the top of their head. Nice. Is that, is that a lucky break enjoyer? I think that's a lucky break enjoyer. Oh, my blink went nowhere, it feels like. But that's okay. The hitbox is on the new map, so always going to be a little bit scuffed. It's a pretty constant thing for Dead by Daylight. That you should never expect a map to come out and it to be completely playable for us because that is not going to happen. And now we've got two left. And we do know a point of... Oh, I was about to say we do know a point of interest because it's this gen over here. This just feels like they're so powerless. Like, what what can they do? Ooh, good flashbang. Can still land that though. And the Kate healed, which means that they weren't doing anything for at least a pretty sizable amount of time. Okay, there we go. And they have to heal for so long because the recovery time is so bad. Oh my god. I'm genuinely intrigued. Like, if we give them, like, four syringes, four medkits, what happens? Because this feels crazy. 
I hope they have an unbreakable in the cards. Okay, there, there we go. There's the Siptic. Well timed, well timed. I'm just gonna full blink. Yeah. And I, I don't think there's any unbreakables. That didn't even take long at all. <laughs> oh, okay. I told them to bring the best possible stuff they can bring. And I guess this is what they responded with. Yeah, I had no idea they were gonna bring this, but this is four no mythers. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get it going. Good double back. I can land that though. They're just gonna spread out, right? Like this never ends unless they literally bleed out. Where are you going, Claude? Okay, well, we've got three slugs, even though they're literally picking themselves up. They definitely have brand new parts or something. Seems that way anyway. Nice. And then we had a Kate over here. Who should be about ready to pick herself up. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, Soul Guard. Interesting. Okay, the Soul Guard must have just run out on Felix or he didn't have it. I don't know what to do here. Am I playing for a bleed out? Like... Well, almost landed on the Claudette. Okay. This is an interesting one. Oh my god. I thought I could catch that just... She is completely silent with no mither, actually. I don't know if she has, like, no mither or I will. She is really, really quiet. It might also just be that, um, Nurse's Chase music is really loud. I've just realized I've had Surge, and Surge quite literally doesn't work on Nurse. I think that's the play, honestly. Let's see if with them literally picking themselves up infinitely, if I can still get it done. Oh, I thought I could land that. Okay. I think Claudette and Felix are like the only ones that are close on the bleed out bar. But when I said bring everything, I I, 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 I don't know. No mither was the last thing I expected. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Oh, I thought I could just get the other side. Not quite, though. That was good pathing from the Claudette, honestly. I see Felix over here. The crow went up. Okay, this might be the one scenario in which Nurse shouldn't slug. <laughs> Every other scenario, it seems like very beneficial to just slug it because you don't have to deal with DH ever. This might be the one and only scenario where Nurse slugging is not a good idea. Which, I mean, if you load into a game against four no mythers, that's, that's probably pretty obvious. But I had to try. Okay. They just pop the gate. Yeah. I don't think there's anything I can do if, I, if I'm not hooking. I'm guessing these two pop at the exact same time. Oh. Okay. <sighs> All right. Yeah, that's quite insane. Nurse, the only instance where you shouldn't slug is when you're against four no mythers. <laughs> oh my lord. Look at that build. <laughs> or those builds, I should say. GG's though. Oh my god. Nurse is going to go absolutely crazy if this makes it to life. If you're curious on how the flashlight nurse interaction has changed, I've made a short about it here, which I definitely recommend you watch. And if not, thank you so much for watching.